Welcome back to Think Design Work Smart. I'm Alex Bolbock and I'm coming to you from the Mosaic Work Studios. And this is just a quick video about something that happened very recently related to time zones and the daylight saving time. One of the common things, common themes or recurrent themes that you see in our channel is that we like to talk about assumptions that developers make We've done a few videos on this topic. We talked about data, data and time uh, in one extended video. And then we talked about how uh, the age of a person is computed differently depending on where you are. Uh, so these are both interesting videos to point out to what programmers think are correct assumptions but are really just assumptions and i think one uh, in time i have come up with a few patterns for these types of assumptions and one of them is that one will be more if you assume that you have only one of a certain thing maybe at some point i mean most likely at some point you'll end up having more and this just happened in the area of daylight saving time. Lebanon, uh, for various reasons that don't concern us in the technical uh, area, for a few days had two different time zones. Basically, the government has postponed winter clock changes, uh, decided to introduce daylight saving from midnight on April 20th, rather from midnight on March 25th, so about a month delay. But institutions from churches to media organizations have refused to follow suit, causing confusion among the population. So what happened? Well, this is the mailing list about the uh, uh, DST database about well basically the time database that many of us are using actually probably all of us are using behind the scenes whether we realize or not because these are standards and this is a long thread of things that happened related to the Lebanon uh, DST changed a lot of conversations. Fortunately, by uh, uh, and actually, before we go to the fortunate part, for for a time, um, this is, was the workaround to work around some of the TSDB part of the mess so time zone database. Here is what people in Lebanon can do, regardless of which time zone database release is installed. To adopt the rule change, use Libyan time, TZ time zone Africa slash Tripoli. To ignore the rule change, use Cyprus time, TZ time zone Asia, Nicosia, which is close to the old rules. Though it changes clocks at 3 instead of midnight. So it won't start working until about 2 hours and 10 minutes for now. So complete mess with the software systems. Uh, you can imagine that if, you're, if you have anything to do with uh, the time zone and the displaying times in the current time zone or something like this, and your time zone changes a few times uh, in, a, in a week, uh, the, this is kind of a mess, right? Particularly for big systems. So, anyway, uh, finally they managed to sort this out. And um, as far as we can see, now Lebanon is back to having a single uh, time zone you can see this in this article they like saving times for schools and vocational institutions so they managed to get back but this shows once again this pattern that you never know what one thing in your software will become more of those things you never know which one thing will will need to be uh, more of 
and maybe right now it's a bit weird to think about this um, that you could have for the same territory two different time zones <laughs> it's a bit weird but I'm not sure whether this will not happen again uh, particularly well on a long term with uh, space exploration and stuff like that so who knows uh, anyway I thought this was an interesting thing to comment uh, in case you haven't seen this what do you think about it L let us know in the comments thank you kindly for the view and until next time remember to think design and work smart